Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you how to load and install Photoshop gradients. And I'm using CC, but same basic approach for CS6, CS5, etc., as well as Photoshop elements. Right, I'm just going to go over to, uh, I'm on a Mac, but uh, on a PC, just go to Program Files instead of Applications. That's the key one. And Adobe Photoshop CC, Presets, and Gradients. Now, Photoshop Gradients are in GRD format. I haven't actually seen any other application other than Photoshop or Photoshop Elements that can load GRD files. I might be wrong there. But uh, if you put the GRD files in the Gradients folder, they will then appear in the Photoshop Gradients menu once you get back into Photoshop. Now, I'm just going to go back to Photoshop and I'm going to select the gradient tool and there's the gradients and on the right side reset gradients, load gradients, save gradients, replace gradients that's the various options also if you go to, and I'm just going to just bring that up weirdly it's slightly different when you actually bring up the gradients editor dialog it's actually got an option load gradient there but uh, the actual options for I replace there. It's weird. Anyway, slight change. Uh, anyway, if the gradients, you put the GRD file in that uh, folder that I've just shown, they will appear in this list. To actually replace the gradients you've got there, you've got a, st a standard set of gradients there, you can use the replace command. If you want to add to those gradients, use the load option. And I'm just going to quickly replace those gradients. I'm just going to go to selection of gradients. Where just quickly find them. My graph. Gradients bundle. And now there's a whole selection of GRD files. These are from graphicextras.com. Uh, it's about uh, X number of 32,000 different gradient files available there gradient, not files, there's only a few files, but certainly 32,000 gradients. So I'm just going to select one of those to actually replace the current one. Open, and then you'll see them in the presets. So I'm just click OK at that point. You can also load them via the file open in some versions, not all versions. You can actually, I think you can do it on the PC. Certainly in some versions of Photoshop, you can load them sometimes you can't, it will just grey them out. So uh, that's uh, one option, unfortunately, on the Mac, you can't seem to do. And now I'm just going to go to Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, Gradients, and you can load as well as replace. Again, it's slightly obviously like the original, the other dialog. There's actually the replace there, and I'm just going to replace gradients. Just select that file. Right, that's a quick way of loading as well as installing the Photoshop gradients. Once you've done that, of course, you can actually apply them. And I'm just going to quickly just apply. Just going to select one. And that's actually in difference. So uh, you can create interesting color effects just using the difference mode. There you are. Basically, gradient. Now, of course, if you want to edit the gradient, you can just double click on that just, and just modify the various stops there. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials and uh, thank you very much.